Hello and welcome back to MKS Electronics guys. Uh, today I have some uh, upgrades for my Ender 3 V2 and I decide to share it with you because it should be short and sweet this video. So this first bag is a set of uh, two T8 anti backslash spring loaded nut nuts. Elimin it does eliminate a gap and it's made of brass. So you have some uh, anti backslash uh, nuts thingies yeah so what they are for is when your gantry is traveling and you give it like a it's like a changing layer and stuff it's have a it's have a, a gap on that lead screw and it's actually it's actually on every printer like that yeah so if you have a look on the on the lead screw you can see it's quite big and a gap and uh, the original uh, original nut what it's on it let me help you here okay the original nut what is on it it's got nothing it just goes how it is so the gap in between here that gives you imperfections and uh, you missing the layers and stuff like that so this thing what I have here, the anti backlash uh, nut set with a spring that should uh, eliminate it greatly. So let's put it on. So you have a set like this. It's contained the spring. And then you have a two parter. Uh, what is the second part here? It goes together like that. In between is the spring, and in the middle is the lead screw. So this pushing on that, and that ensures it goes always against the edge of the uh, of the lead screw, so it doesn't uh, create the uh, it's eliminate the gap. Well, from what I understand, you need to repurpose the original screws, what you have here. So you need to use them again. And uh, in order to install this, I need to open my trusty drawer with the uh, with the uh, uh, clarity included tool because you don't need anything else for that. And uh, because I have here already some upgrades here, like this, uh, like this. Uh, this thing yeah so that that currently will be in our way so what i'm gonna do is uh i will do something but you should not but i will sacrifice that and cut it here i will then heat it up and pull it out that's why i didn't cut it flush so i can pull it out <laughs> but yeah so what i will have to do is uh loose a bit and by the way what i'm doing now you should not be doing because you will uh you should not well if you have a because i have a dual z dual z z lead screw and uh when it's off you should manually move them but hey ho i will i will calibrate that after so basically if you move it uh, by hand you will, you will miscalibrate that and you have to do that again but uh, what I wouldn't do for you guys so yeah uh, we need to uh, free up this uh, this clamping here this coupling the bottom part I believe we can leave alone but we need to free up the bottom I mean the top the bottom it's on the stepper and the top holds the Lead screw, but that this will be toughy. It's gonna be tough. Maybe I will have to lose him on the bottom. Let's see. Can you let go? It, it's it's already spinning through, but oh okay okay I got it yeah it did let go. It's so good. It's so good. So I need to screw out like this because and I, it's all greasy because i did put the grease on it 
By the way, you should do. <laughs> if so, your printer doesn't squeak. And there is a other reasons that I just can't come up with them now. I'll just make it smooth, everything, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, we'll have this like that. I will not take it. I can actually take it out. It's not, not a problem. It's even easier. I'll take it out all the way out. And now, only what I have to do is lose these two screws. But I need a different uh, Allen key. And uh, it's quite straightforward this one, yeah, though. It's quite straightforward installation. It's just so uh, when I will be putting uh, this, it's in the way. When I will be putting the spring on, that will be fun. Because basically, what you have to do, well, you will see, you have to put the lead screw on with the top part and now uh, like basically screw it in <laughs> but you'll see that so I, I, I can I can better show it than explain it actually um, it's and uh, I believe this nut thingy should have a, a washer on top under the screw and a washer between the printer and the nut yeah, they are there. So be careful when you take it off so you don't lose them because you need to repurpose all four of them. Oops, yeah, don't do that. Okay, now I have to find them. That's always fun. Oh, here it is. I would never guess that million years. All right, got it. So now we will take this part. This is the new nut with the cutout. As you can see, that's that. Let's get the cutout. Okay, so let's 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 repurpose a little bit of that crease. What I have here going on. Let's put it on our new nut. So I can use it like a very mild glue. And now I'm putting the washers on so it holds on. So it helped me help. Hopefully, it will help me to hold it on. Alright, so let's put it in place. I'm not repurposing the bottom washers because this one is actually shorter and it's very fiddly job this one to do oh my god how fiddly it is okay oh that grease doesn't even help it's not helping me for sure. It's making everything slippery. But they, it is what it is. So let's catch the thread, hopefully now. Okay, that's one. Let's try to do the other one. Got it. Yeah. But for now, don't tie it the down. Just for now only. Let's bring our lead screw back. And uh, okay, 
how nicely it goes through. Let's put the spring on. And uh, as far as I remember, you just, yeah. So you need to align them. Can you, you can see that, that's fine. You need to just align them like this with that spring being compressed. And then you bring the lead screw in and it stays in place. Perfect. See, and now it's not dropping even by itself. But it was dropping by itself. Okay. Should be, it should be fun. But you can back in that coupling. I should be alright. Oh, yeah, it did go fine. Okay. Yep. Alright, so I did so I did bring it back in, uh, in the coupler. Let's just screw it down, hold this one on, bring it back, and I will tie it back, this uh, coupler. Don't forget to do that because otherwise you will have not happy times. Would be very, would be slipping on spot and stuff. All right, guys. So what? Upgrade is done. It's look awesome. I think it it should make big difference in accuracy and stuff. And now it's not that expensive. It was uh, nine pounds for a pair. And if you have a dual Z axis like I do, then you just copy paste. It's the same process on the other side, but on the other side will be easier because you don't have you don't have the all this stuff like uh, extruders and stuff like that. So the other side is even easier. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in next upgrade because we have one silicon blocks and uh, new wheels.